good afternoon everyone so myself dr supraja i am from uh, department of networking and communication i work here as an associate professor past seven years i was associated with the sarm and uh, i was uh, uh coordinating this uhv team and um, also associated with the uh, as a volunteer as a national team so almost one and a half years i was in the journey of uh, in this uhv i was associated with this uhv and uh, one thing is i could see my own transformation in this uh, uhv journey uh, so little closer okay in terms of uh, development like development in my understanding i could see um, uh, changes within myself uh, that uh, re- that that i could feel myself and uh, but one thing is in this whole one and a half years there, lo- there was a lot of content we have discussed there was a lot of content discussed in uhp 1 to a uh, weekly meeting morning meetings we do to discuss lot of content we used to revisit the content again and again and again it is more focused on self understanding ourselves like how to develop uh, understanding within ourselves and this uh, this body is just one slide this intake labor routine this is just a one slide i didn't even aware that this one slide has uh, this much of uh, content to know for us is just one slide we used to read we need to take an intake we need to take a, a proper exercise and then that's just one slide for us but uh, this awareness i didn't have that this has this much of content so uh, my three takeaways of uh, this complete uh, session is usually we know these things what we are discussed most of the thing we know at least a few things which we heard from our parents grandparents and through many whatsapp messages we do know all these things but many times we didn't know why we want to do everybody say wake up in the morning half foot these years over years we are listening to it but we don't know the reason behind why we need to wake up in the morning if they would have made us to understand this reasons then we could have taken some efforts to uh, wake up in the morning it's just it's just, just like a do's and don'ts do this do this do this do this we have heard for so many years just do this so that is where uh, i personally felt that i didn't follow any of their rules but now only if i understand then i can take this as an effort i can make it with understanding so i thought didi has given that understanding to us more than than telling do and don'ts that is the best part of uhp which i feel is most of the time we, they give an opportunity for us to explore and see by ourselves instead of telling this is the way and that is the way so now this is given me the this as a body is just a material and how to connect with the material what is the connection with the nature this i could able to see and uh, one more thing is uh, the one take away is first uh, we used to say like how more parents and grandparents used to say many things we also used to say to other people do this do that do this everybody is not listening to what you say more than they observe what you do so if i go tell be healthy nobody will listen to me because they know what is my health is now that i understood uh, from the the first stay healthy and then show the way so this i need to practice <laughs> let us like how she is maintaining her diet and uh, walking pattern in the evening they have i am just observing more than her words so before i take this content to anybody like first i need to work on myself and show the way this was one take away and uh, as i told earlier i i had a very bad experience in the hospital i don't uh, uh, listen to doctors or go to the doctor one day i simply have not to just because of that i was taking care of myself little bit even if what is harmony within me i hesitated to go to the doctor um i used to think they are the one who spoiled my health <laughs> and uh, again the second blame i usually put on my parents they are the one who spoiling because i thought it is their responsibility right from day 1 to 33 years they are one who feeding me they are one who cook and feed me three times they will decide what i should eat everything so then if something goes wrong i immediately said you only gave my body you only started killing me i used to blame them a lot uh, but now i could able to see it's my responsibility i am putting a blame on other person i should take care of my own health because when i see i am 
when I see my priority, when I listed my priority, I used to see if there is a work and there is my health, I'll just skip my meal and I'll go behind the work. That is how I have practiced. So that I have can able to observe in this uh, five days, like uh, how much I'm giving a priority to the other work than my body. So this was the second takeaway that I should be responsible for my health. And uh, no, I could notice whatever the discussed here, how much I was following or not following, no proper sleep, no proper hydration, and I never use uh, to go in the sunlight because of the standing problem, I think I never go. And uh, I never use this public restroom, so I used to uh, resist myself. So these are the things I, use, I had, and I felt I had a potential due to it. Why should I, I can manage with this, without hydration also I am fine only, all these I could. But now this resistance is, there is something happening in a normal way, it is already organized. I am one who is creating that disharmony in that uh, self-organized unit. So I need to do that. At night, I used to use a phone a lot. Before some time itself, I started a habit of uh, spending some time, at least for my own observation. So uh, while observing, I could able to see that what are all, uh, that more focused on self till dated, not on the body, those observation. Probably now I am started for this body, at least past two days, that observation of my body how much I have done for the body because previously it was only for the self even that observation so that now I can focus and finally uh, the levels of harmony in the self body and the environment that three level is what we have seen so uh, obviously the priority also on the self and now we started looking for the body and and for the environment as I am from the agriculture family we had a very good lands but now because of the labor problem we didn't do anything in the form it's just a dry land so probably I'm having a discussion with the family. Why can't we uh, do something for only for our family, we are making some rice paddy with organic way, not for the other people. If it goes for the other people, we will use pesticides or this thing. Probably I'm thinking like we can discuss with the family, like what we can do, because it is all dry lands now. What can we do with those lands and produce some good uh, uh, fruits and vegetables. So that was one discussion we are having with my uh, with my father and my husband. I was as discussing the past two days, and um, finally this content. Yeah, this content I really feel it is important to take it because as a medical profession and other things, we are discussing more on how to treat with the disease. That is what the syllabus we are discussing. If any disease comes out to treat, but probably we can also take a subject like this to how to take care of your body, how to stay healthy rather than after getting a disease. This can be an open elective initially with for all our students. Let's see the interest of the students and take it forward to the evening. And uh, regarding the final suggestion and the refinement of the program, I know how much uh, Miru Ma'am has put her effort and uh, all resource persons. Uh, this is the first time this content has come. So the PPT is everything. We made it ready only in this uh, one month of time, like content is there. We have attending Sarnala Didi's health uh, uh, content in the weekly session. Uh, we didn't expect this much content was there. So uh, all of us has given our best efforts. We have made the effort, but there is some here and there, there is some kind of refinement is required, the content organization or uh, maybe we couldn't able to catch since it's a huge sometimes, sometimes uh, we feel this can be discussed more. So that we can able to sit and uh, have a one round of discussion to the refinement is what I feel. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Supraja ma'am.